So guys, there is a Phantom Liberty Cyberpunk iconic legendary weapon that has been surrounded by mystery. We just don't know exactly for sure how to get this thing. Now I uploaded a compilation video of all iconics, uh, all legendaries added to the Phantom Liberty DLC. And I added this, uh, this weapon to that video, to that compilation, because the only way I could get it was to create a new character and do a few things there. But that doesn't really seem to help anybody because people have tried exactly what I've done and it, there's no path open for them. This Umbro X Mod 2 is locked behind like a sheet of metal on top of a building. We don't know how to remove this sheet of metal or absolutely anything. But no ifs, no buts now guys. Today I'll showcase to you no matter where you are on your playthrough. If you've completed the Phantom Liberty DLC, if you're just starting it, if the path is blocked off, it don't matter. Today I'll showcase to you exactly how you get this weapon. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So you can see right here guys, this is where you need to come to on the map. Right there. So this like rooftop here is where we're coming to. I'm just going to mark that and quickly jog here. Now what I will say is you'll see this on the screen now while I'm running here. Again, I created a new character basically. Well, it wasn't actually a new character, it was an older character. But it hadn't started the Phantom Liberty DLC yet. So I went onto that character. I went through the first few missions of the Phantom Liberty DLC. I got up to the Lucretia My Reflection, which is basically the mission where you go and, uh, you go and search for Reed or you go and find Reed. Um, I didn't do that part. I went and did a side gig for Mr. Hands, just one. I then did a airdrop on top of the roof. And then I went back here and the path was clear, but other people have tried this, confirmed this, doesn't work for them. So I just don't know what it is. There's something along the lines of the story maybe that unlocks it. I don't know. Or there's a certain point you progress past, it's blocked off. But either or guys, you need to come to this point here. You can see the rooftop up there. I've got to call that lift, I probably have. Yeah, so the rooftop's here, but I'll just quickly go pull up my map again. Um, so I'm right here. This is where you want to be basically. Right there, so the lift will be calling down. Now, the only things you need for this is a motorbike and a quick hack. So, I go to your intelligence and you want to purchase this thing right here, car hacker. Purchase that. That's all you need. Now, this may work with a car. The problem is you, you may be able to get the weapon with a car, but you won't be able to get out. So, I do suggest you go in and get in one of the many motorbikes in the game before attempting this because you may get stuck in here. You have to load up an order save and always guys always create a save before attempting anything like this just in case you do get stuck and you can't get back out You'd rather you reload an order save than get stuck in here and waste your actual game so yeah do what you gotta do people but again it's just surrounded by we just it's just shrouded by mystery we just don't know how to get this thing now, i thought it was a bug originally i thought it was a bug but with their 2.01 patch Nothing's changed, the path is still blocked off for almost everybody. Everyone's still speculating about how this is unlocked, we still don't know. But again, this method today, guys, will show you exactly how you do this. So you can see right here, for me, it's blocked off. No matter what you do, you can't get up there. I mean, the gap is so small, you can stand next to it, but you can't get through it. If you dodge, I'm spamming my buttons, people, and nothing is working. It's a pain in the ass. And again, there's many, many players out there that this is an iconic that they're missing because most of the iconics in this, this DLC you can more or less get apart from when you get to fire start mission we have to pick a choice between Reed and Songbird other than that every other one you can more or less get or at least purchase if you miss them at a, a black market vendor this one you can't so yeah so now we're here guys we're on top of the roof this is what you want to do with that quick hack make sure you got that again make sure you have this carjack I mean just refund any other one you've got or if you've got the points spare purchase it for now because you can always refund them so with this and with a motorbike you want to jump up onto this ledge right here so you want to turn around and face this it's like i don't even know what that is that big metal construction thing so face that and then guys you want to pull out a motorbike any motorbike doesn't really matter i'm just going to go with jackie's my favorite one and then you'll notice that the motorbike spawns right there so now what you gotta do is you gotta use your quick hacks, come down to take it or take control, execute that, take control of the bike, and you wanna change the camera angle. 
Now here, you just want to reverse it back up. You're going to knock yourself off and you're going to come out of this, but it doesn't matter. Let's go back into it. So let's just go a bit further forward. You have to get the angle right as well. So let's go backwards a bit here. Keep coming back. So you're going to knock yourself off. That's fine. Don't worry about that. So I'm just going to jump down now. I'm just going to take control again. Just like so. And then you just want to reverse it. So the back wheel is hanging over the back. That's what you got to do. Just slightly. You don't want to go too far. So don't be using your brake. Obviously, you can't be using your brake. Don't be using your accelerator to go forward to try and like balance it out. Use your hand brake on Xbox. This is the A button. On PlayStation, I'm guessing it's the X button. On PC, I haven't got a clue. So you just want it over the edge, just like that. That's how you want it. Now, guys, you just want to jump up next to it. And it has to be at that angle, otherwise it blocks you from... You need to be standing basically there. And then, guys, you can just jump on. See, if you angle this out at, at like, this angle, the way my camera's going up and down, you can't squeeze down here, so you can't get onto the bike. If you, basically, it's just buggy. So, yeah, now we jump on. And then, guys, we just go forward like that. Simple as that. Now, we need our bike. So, don't go breaking it. Don't go blowing it up. Don't go parking it on that electric. Now, just get off it. And remember, guys, you should have made a save before you come in here. We all have auto sh saves anyway. Now, if we walk around this corner, you'll see that the weapon will just appear. Just like that. There's a bit of ammo here too, guys. I don't know what's on that body. Don't even know what that is. Um, I don't think it does that give anyone clues of how this place is uh, unlocked. But I'm not sure. Now just jump across, guys. And now we have the Umbral X Mod 2. And it's a badass weapon as well. That's the thing about this thing. It's a badass weapon. <sighs> so yes, guys. This is how you get it. Without, well... Cracking the code of how you get through here. Oh, we've got a skill shot there as well. Nice. Okay, so now, guys, we just want to get back out. So how you get back out is actually easier. So jump back on your bike. And you just want to reverse up. Reverse into the gap. Just like so. Get as far into it as you can. So you can't go any further. Spin the camera around. Then jump off. Get off. And there we go. You're out. As simple as that, guys. And that is how you get the Umbro X Mod 2. Let's pull the bad boy out. I'll show you a little bit of gameplay with it if you haven't got this thing already. It's a great weapon. It's accurate. Feels nifty. This is without mods as well. It's got a bit of enemies around here somewhere. There we go. There's a couple. It just, it just, it just feels super accurate. There's barely any recoil on it. I like it, I like it a lot, Pip. Okay, so yeah. I love this thing. And there we have it, guys. That is how you get the Umbro X Mod 2 anywhere through your playthrough. Doesn't matter if it's blocked off or not. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.